All right, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, boop, with the small YouTuber tag. And I originally found out about the small YouTuber tag through uh, Jake Young. And uh, links of channels and stuff will be down below in the boopity boop for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> so, um, there's a listing of eight quote unquote questions that I'm gonna answer. I used the air quotes uh, for reasons that will be explained later. But uh, anyway, let's begin. Question one. What inspired you to start making videos? And the long and short of it really is the original wave of J vloggers. Now J vloggers, for those of you who don't know, is short for Japan vloggers. So when I talk about the original wave, I'm talking about guys like Kevin Cooney, also known as Tokyo Cooney, and the late great Roger Swan, also known as Tokyo Swan, and later Iwate Swan. So I just, I, I really loved their approach to making videos, whether it was the Anthony Bourdain no reservation style, like what Kevin Cooney had as Tokyo Cooney, or the more personal vlogging style of Roger Swan, as he was on the internet as Tokyo Swan and later Iwate Swan. Question two, how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? Nine years at the time of this recording, I'll be celebrating my first decade on YouTube in on March 1st, 2016. So if you're watching this in the future, greetings. <laughs> and uh, I do have a couple other channels, but most of them I don't really use all that often. So I have my second channel, which is youtube.com slash theandysan. And it was originally supposed to be my backup channel in case something happened to my main channel. So I just had it as a secondary channel, just in case. And it later became like my uh, channel that I'll upload concerts to so I could avoid the uh, copyright flags on my main channel so it kind of became the opposite of what it was originally intended for eh life's funny and uh, my other channel includes my collab channel with my best friend Eric also known as the Talkin' Vidalkin uh, youtube.com slash floppamation and links to stuff boop -boop -boop down below uh, it's basically a collab channel, like I said, where we riff over various uh, anime series, among other things. And my latest channel, which uh, I'll be starting up very soon, is my Let's Play channel known as Andy Cade. And uh, I really can't wait to get this guy off the ground, so stay tuned for more. Question three. <laughs> where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? Honestly, this is a hard one. Because I'm constantly looking for new ways to improve my video making skills. Whether it's with new equipment like my GoPro, which I'm using to record, or my Zoom H2N, which I'm also using to record right now, or with uh, tweaking the audio, like compressing it, changing the EQ, stuff like that, so my videos sound good. I'm always in search of new and improved ways to do things. Of course, there has to be a balance between the time it takes to make a video and the overall quality of it. Because if I focus too much on trying to make the quote unquote perfect video, I lose out on a lot of the spontaneity of just making regular off the cuff videos. But if I just hit record too often, the results might be a little too amateurish. So it's all about finding balance, folks. Question Afoa What message are you trying to get across with your videos? Now it does sound a bit highfalutin, but I want to inspire others to pursue their goals and their dreams. I've dreamed for years about coming out to Japan, and for the longest time, it seemed like just that, a dream. I was a broke college dropout with no real positive prospect on life. Then, in June 2010, with much trepidation, I decided to join the United States Navy. I didn't think I was really cut out for the military, but I didn't have much else going for me at the time, so I decided to give it a shot. Five years after joining, I've been all around the world and I've seen so many fa fantastic places. I've also fulfilled my dream of coming to Japan and I've lived here in my lovely apartment here in Yokosuka uh, for about two years now. Now, I'm getting out of the Navy around August, September-ish 2015. I don't have an exact date yet, so. Uh, but I plan on going back to college for the first time in almost 10 years. I'm really grateful for all that the Navy has given to me and I look forward to starting a new chapter in my life and going back to college. Question five. Do people from school slash my ship find my channel? Now, keep in mind, I'm kind of old. <laughs> I'll be turning 30 this year. So YouTube didn't exist back when I was in high school, which is, you know, circa 2000, 2004. And it was just starting up when I was in college the last time. So around 2004, 2007-ish. So no one really knew me from YouTube during that time because well, nobody really knew about YouTube in general at the time. 
People from the ships I was stationed on, uh, the USS Kurtz and USS Lassen, found out about my YouTube channel pretty quick though, as indicative of small boys. <laughs> Most people didn't get it and thought I was either boring or stupid, so they only stuck around to laugh at the fact I was on YouTube and pretty much just left it at that. Some frequently watch my videos and they give me lots of encouragement if they see me in the P-Ways, or passageway for you civilian types. And I'm really thankful for them. Sometimes they keep me in check if I screw up or put something stupid out, so... Yeah. <laughs> question a six. Apparently this question doesn't exist. Remember what I said earlier about, you know, eight questions? Yeah, that's the reason for that. So, uh, anyway, moving on! <laughs> Question seven, what does your YouTube username mean? So I got the name Andy-san from my friend Jake, who knew that I loved Japan and all that Japanesey stuff. So he would talk like an old, poorly dubbed kung fu master from the martial art movies of the 70s and would say random things like, Andy-san of the Natsu Eastern Wind. And that's where my online name came from. Of course, like most people out there, from time to time I'd Google myself and I found that my name, Andy-san, came up next to the porn star Andy Sandemus. So to differentiate between me and her, I renamed my online perso persona as The Andy Son. Of course, Miss Sandemus still pops up on occasion in the search results, so what you gonna do? <laughs> and the last question, question eight. Who is your favorite small YouTuber? Now, uh, since this tag doesn't have a clear definition of what a small YouTuber is, small is just you know, relative, I suppose. I decided to narrow it down to YouTubers with less than 10,000 subscribers. So, some of my favorite small, quote unquote, YouTubers are Molly from the Warmoth Strat channel, Sandra from the Sandra no Sekai channel, Kevin from Jayland Kev, his main channel, Busan Kevin, has over 10,000 10, subscribers though, uh, John from Little Red Guitars 2, Jake from JMiz91, and Sam from Tikio Sam 2 and Tikio Plays. Although his main channel, Tikio Sam, has over 10,000 subscribers. And that's just to name a few. So, if you're a small time YouTuber, aka someone with less than 10,000 subscribers, uh, feel free to make a, a small YouTuber tag video. Or, you know, if you've already made one, be sure to put it in the boopity boop in the comments down below so we can watch it and, you know, like it, thumb it up, subscribe, and things like that, you know, as YouTubers do. <laughs> So anyway, that's my small YouTuber tag. So yeah, this is the Andy song. That's it for now. Thinking you guys poop, for tuning in to this video and for watching my other stuff. Also gotta thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you poop next time. Catch you later guys, bye.